Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Deborah, and today I'm going to be doing my left side of my hand. Um, but before I get started, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. I am just now getting started, so you guys subscribing has brought on a lot of encouragement. Um, I have right here my nails that I did have on. In my last video, I posted about um, not using a primer. I don't use a primer because I want to do the videos and I want my nails to be easily popped off. Um, I know it's better to soak off, but without using the primer, they, they very easily just pop off. Um, I am heavy handed and these do last quite a bit, but I started removing them um, for this video. Um, but I do want to show you that I like not using the primer because they all come off in one piece. Um, these two nails, <laughs> I wasn't even going to try. These these two nails still feel like they're on pretty good. So I don't want to rip my nail off. I want to keep them in good condition. But yeah, I, I just wanted to show you guys that um, this is how they come off when you don't use a primer. Well, for the most part it does, should I say. If you are somebody that has or produces more oil um, versus staying more dry, your nails probably will pop off a lot sooner than what these have for me. I don't produce a lot of oil, so they stay on pretty well for me. And as you can see, my nails are not damaged at all. So. And I am a nail biter, so that's why I do wear nails. Oh, I'm going to throw these away now. <laughs> okay, so I am starting off... I am using the Melody Susie uh, Scaminator, or is this Scaminator? Scaminator, yes, Scaminator. I have the Melody Scarlet as well. I'm gonna start off by using my cuticle um, bit. This is unlock, and then lock is to your right. Unlock to your left. Lock to your right. I'm going to start off by pushing back my cuticles. And like I said, I'm going to keep these ones on. I am going to trim them down because uh, my best friend is coming in a week or two. If you guys know what I mean. That evil friend of ours, if you're a lady. <laughs> so I am putting it up to like a five. And what I'm going to do with this nail, I'm just going to file it all down. And, um, and just do whatever color I'm going to be doing. Halloween is coming up, October is coming up, so I'm I'm thinking about doing a green color if it cooperates with me. I haven't really did nail designs for quite a few years, so um, I'm just hoping that it works out like how it used to for me. And actually, I think it was it said seven years ago today on my Facebook that... Um, <laughs> I just had sold all my nail supplies. So what I'm doing with this, I'm just going around my cuticle to remove the extra skin that it stays on your your nail bed. You do want to be very gently, do this very gently. Just going around. I'm right-handed, so I'm going from the left corner over to the right. This nail drill does have a, um, a reverse setting, so if you are left-handed, it will still be perfect for you. I sometimes put it in reverse um, when I can't get into a, a tight corner, especially like when I'm on my, um, on my other hand. My less dominant hand. You want to try to keep the drill bit 
as flat as possible. Because if you go in, you can damage your nail bed. No, we don't want that. Alright. So I'm just going to turn it off. Pop this open. I am putting the sanding band on. It's not a coarse sanding band. This is a fine one. If you use a, um, a coarse one, you can mess up your nail bed, but it's, it's pretty, um, fine on this one. So again, just going around. You know what? I'm going to just do this one with my, uh, okay, sorry. I'm just going to do this nail with my, I think it's carbide bit, is what they call it, the metal one, which I absolutely love. And you want to be very gently with, gently with this one too. We don't want to remove layers, we want to keep them, we just want to remove that natural shine off the nail. Which I don't really have too much to do because I did just get done taking off those um, those other nails that I just did, which I absolutely loved. So, and the glitter that I used in my last tips, I actually got them from Walmart. They were I think about seven dollars six something. It wasn't even that expensive for a twelve pack, and they even had uh, other colors as well. I just chose the more vibrant ones. I have a daughter that loves that loves um, bright colors like that. So I am going to just fast forward this little bit of me um, filing down this nail because it did take me a little bit of time to get that glitter off. It was for sure stuck on there. Uh, I did put a thin layer of poly gel on top or on the bottom, but it still was really hard to get off. So I'm just going to fast forward this for you guys so you guys don't have to watch that much of this drilling part. These are the tips that I have. I got them off Amazon and I will put them in a link down below if you are interested. So they are um, pretty thick. I have not had one of them crack or break on me. Let's see, they're pretty sturdy. They're not super thin. The worst thing possible that can happen with nail tips is um, some of them dropping on the ground or dropping the case. Yeah, that happened to me. So <laughs> I have some that's in a plastic bag that needs to be sorted and I am blind so I cannot see what the numbers are. It sucks. I couldn't put them back. So I'm just gluing my tips on. 
I like them to be up a little bit just to kind of give more support for my nail. I'm using Mia Secret Nail Glue. Um, I said in my last video too, I am not a fan of this. It keeps getting stuck. I actually left it open or lightly closed. I have a fear of this actually leaking, but I lightly closed it and it didn't happen again. But I'm not getting that glue again. That's for sure. I'm just going to get a glue that has a, a top on it that snaps on and off. I am making sure my tips are from sidewall to sidewall. If you don't do that, they will crack or not fit right, look right. And I do add an extra little bit of glue on top. Because like I said, I am heavy handed. And I have two kids, so my nails can pop off very easily if I don't give it good support. Um, if you guys have any um, questions, you can always make a comment down below. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. That'd be highly appreciated. I do this because I like it. And I also am a social media person. If you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you will see how much I post. Also, I share it with my husband for the most part. He doesn't really like social media, so he's on a... He's on basically mine. <laughs> he shares memes and stuff, but... The only thing that he really likes, well, he did like, was TikTok. He was doing TikTok videos for a little bit. But if you guys would like, maybe he might get into it if you guys follow him. I'll put his link down below, too. He's kind of a funny guy. this down just a tad bit more. Good, good, good. Good, good. Okay. This is a 180 file that I'm using. I think I'm just going to do square just because I don't really let these nails last that long. I just do it just because of my monthly that's coming up. I wear a cup, so I need to be able to get in there. <laughs> Sorry if that's TMI. I am not somebody that gets grossed out by that kind of stuff, so... I am expressive towards it. I'm just removing um, or blending in the the smile line. If it sounds like that I'm trying to figure out what I'm trying to say, I am. I have not done this in many years. So I'm just trying to refresh my brain on all this goodiness.
going to pour a little bit of rubbing alcohol on my nails to kind of help remove some of that powder. It also helps dehydrate the nail on top of you using a dehydrator, which I'm about to use. This is Jellish Page Bond. I like it, have not had any problems with it. I'm just gonna go around. I do this two times. That could be why that my why my nails don't lift is because I do do it twice on top of the alcohol. I'm going to use Model 1's base coat. I love Model 1's. I use their poly gel and that's what I'm going to be using today. I'm just going to do a thin coat. I kind of tip my nails downwards a little bit. So that way it doesn't stay all up at the top and flood your cuticles. All right, now I'm going to put my nail my nails in the lamp for about 30 seconds just to cure it a little bit. I'm just going to pour some rubbing alcohol in for my slip solution. I'm using a Models 1 brush. No brush. It's not me. Sorry guys, I'm trying to focus for you. There we go. Model 1's brush with picker. I think they call it a picker. Yep, picker. Alright, and I am using Model 1's temperature change. I'm using this just in case I do remove the nail polish. That way there is some type of color to my nails. So what you're going to do is just kind of get the little picker a little bit moist. If you get the picker a little bit moist, it comes off a little bit more easier. It's not so sticky. Tacky. My phone is having a hard time focusing. Sorry, guys. I don't know what the deal is tonight. And I normally do my tips a little bit on the thicker side just because I am heavy handed. But I think I'm going to try to have them a little bit more thinner. Yeah, I think I'm going to do them just a tad thinner this time. They say it should be about as thin, I guess, as a card. If I remember correctly. I'm just going to add just a tad bit more. If you guys hear that music in the background, <laughs> sorry, it's my baby monitor. I've got to listen for when my kids wake up. So, yeah, I'm just did about two little beads on here. I'm just working it through. Pushing it all around. I 
I do want to do a giveaway at 100 subscribers. Um, I did see some people who are um, are not uh, manicurists that are subscribed to me. So I don't know what kind of giveaway I want to do. I want to be a little bit fair to everyone who's watching me. But I mean, if the person that wins is somebody that's a nail tech or they're doing nails... I would obviously give you guys something that's, um, that's a nail product. But I gotta figure out something that someone else would like if they win. That's how about then I did it. You want to look all to the sides. Okay. And I cure after every one. I do a little cure at least. For about 30 seconds. Did the same thing. I dipped it in some slip solution, aka rubbing alcohol. Just pushing it back to my cuticle a little bit. We don't want to flood them. Even though we do use a nail drill, we still want to make it more easier on, us, on ourselves. Working it down. Some people pat, some people smooth. I kind of do both. I don't really like to pat too much. I feel like I have a harder time with the poly gel doing that. My birthday is coming up and I do want to get back into acrylics, so... I told my husband that's what I want for my birthday. If you are a Mia Secret user, comment below. Let me know how you are liking it. Do you think I should get it? Especially with me getting back into nails. Or what, what acrylic should I get? I want something with color so that way I can do a lot more fun stuff with it. I'm probably going to round my edges out just a tad bit so I don't hurt my kids. Because they are sharp right now, it looks like. Alright. I'm going to go in and cure again. Now that I did the very first couple of nails and I showed you guys a little bit of the process of how to sculpt the poly gel, I'm just going to fast forward and put some music on for you guys to listen to as this continues to roll.
now that we are finished with um, smoothing out our nails we're gonna go in with a medium coarse bit and we're gonna just gently go around our cuticle this is very important that you do this nice and steady and slow if not you can damage your cuticles you will bleed same thing if you accidentally go around your finger you can slice your hand um, so just be very careful when you're using this one this is the one that I was talking about in my other clip that, like I said, can hurt you. Once again, I'm going to do a couple of nails and I am going to fast forward this for you so that way you're not sitting here just watching me drill my nails so we can get to the most fun part, which is the designs. Kick. Hey. Shake it, baby. So I am doing a white, a kind of tealish green and a lime green for these nails. Um, I should have left it without the bling. I even went on Facebook and asked if other people thought it looked good, which, because I know that I didn't like them, um, which I figured that I guess my nails are not as long. So that's why my bling didn't look too great. So I'm going to remove my bling after tonight and probably just post a video of another set possibly with just some nail art or something. But I was not a fan of how these actually turned out. The colors were perfect, but the bling, no, I can, it's going to come off. <laughs> Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. That's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did doing it. If you guys have any suggestions or recommendations, please feel free to comment down below and let me know what they are. I am open to all the criticism you guys can give. I am going off what my husband is telling me. So for some other people who so for some other people who are doing videos just like me, it would be awesome for us just to work together and just learn from each other. I'm just going to let this video roll on out. Thank you guys again for watching. Bye.